This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Today we're going to present you in this video the top five cities to live in Canada. Canada is a mighty country. It is the second largest country in the world in terms of area after Russia. It has 10 provinces and three territories spread over 998,500 square kilometers with countless places to go visit and get settled in. Each city here has its own characteristics and unique attractions, beautiful landscapes, and sophisticated people. Honestly speaking, I will not be wrong in saying that there is no bad city in Canada. Keeping this in mind, we have carefully considered some cities and made them pass through one particular filter to select the top five cities. Here are Canada's top five cities to live in. Number one, Toronto, Ontario. It has earned the top spot on the list because it is the country's best choice to go for and live in. This is the capital of Ontario. Being the largest city in Canada, maximum number of visitors in the entire country. There is a lot to be said about this mesmerizing city, a bustling one having about 3 million people. There is nothing to exclude when we talk about interesting things about Toronto. CN Tower is an iconic monument that attracts a huge number of tourists every single day. There are numerous other places to occupy you while being in Toronto, like Toronto Island, Casa Lomo, and the Toronto Zoo. If you're into history and art, there is a lot with Toronto to offer you. Art galleries of Toronto, the AGO, and the Royal Ontario Museum, the ROM, are the two internationally famous destinations. Sound minds need a sound body, so if you want to make your mind sound, you will have to shape your body accordingly. And for that, Toronto offers you a world-class gymnasium, health club, and sports destinations. The cost of housing here starts from $300 for a normal accommodation. That's crazy while being in Toronto. If you need to have a comparatively good house for yourself, you will have to spend $1,300. A good house for the family having three bedrooms is going to cost you $3,200. Toronto is said to be an expensive place to live. So, for instance, you are going to think that how will you ever make enough money to cover your expenses? The minimum wage here is $14.25 an hour. A software engineer in Toronto makes $77,000 a year, while that an accountant makes $59,500 a year. If we talk about transport facilities, Toronto Transit Train is fast and most developed. With just $174, you can get transit pass to move around the city. Business opportunities are also good in Toronto, and the hot areas to invest in are daycare, finance, and real estate. Toronto is no doubt the very appealing city to get settled in because of its luxurious style and enormous earnings opportunities. Number two, Vancouver. It is no doubt a very beautiful city in Canada. In the north, it has got fascinating mountains, the Pacific Coast in the west, and a huge Stanley Park downtown. The landscape of the city is amazingly beautiful and captivating. Whether you are meandering the trails of the Pacific, exploring the beaches of Kitsilanur, cycling in the seawall downtown, there are numerous ways to get amused by the beauty of this city. Whenever you plan to go somewhere, weather and climate are the two factors that need to be considered. The weather in Vancouver is favorable, with sunny summers and mild winters. It is said that it rains a lot in Vancouver. Our research says not a lot, but in a good quantity. But the temperature here is moderate, in winters ranging from positive to positive 6, which is very suitable while being in Canada. Now, let us throw some light on the housing cost of Vancouver. It starts from $300 for a normal accommodation to $4,500 for a luxurious one. The minimum wage here is $14.60 an hour in winter, which goes all the way up to $15.20 in summers. Software engineers and web designers earn a higher amount. There is a number of business opportunities in this city. It is particularly famous for Hollywood movies, IT, and healthcare. So these fields have got huge potential for those who want to invest in the business. Good transportation is required for moving inside the city. Vancouver is exceptionally good in transportation with world-class transit trains. It is easily affordable too, as it costs $97 to $117 a month, depending upon your location. 
As far as entertainment is concerned, this city has got much to hold your attention. You are going to find celebrities so frequently while being in Vancouver. There are a number of festivals and social events to occupy you. If you are good at shopping, this city has got Granville Island, which is a very famous marketplace of Vancouver with all kinds of goods and products while Main Street is a heaven for food lovers where you can buy and eat the food you want. Simply and precisely, Vancouver is a city you are going to love visiting, staying, and living longer because it has got everything you need and want. Number three, Calgary, Alberta. It is sometimes termed as being the most American among Canadian cities. Housing here is probably the cheapest when you acquire a basement for just $750 a month. Or if you want more comfort, you can go for a fairly good accommodation ranging from $1,100 to $1,450 a month. If you still want some more comfort and you don't have issues in spending some more money, here is a luxurious four-bedroom house for you for about $2,800 a month. We talked about housing here, which you need to spend money on. Now, let us talk about earning that money. The minimum wage here is $15 an hour with a number of opportunities to work. The earnings of a software engineer here is $74,500 a year, and that of an accountant is $65,000, which is comparatively higher. The weather here gets extreme in winter with negative 39 degrees Celsius. That is super negative. Transportation here is good too. You can have a transit pass for just $109 a month to commute. I'd uh, like to talk about business opportunities here. This city is known to have a free business environment with a number of fields to invest in. A few among them are oil and natural resources, manufacturing, finance, urban planning, and tourism. A tip I must give you is this. If you are intended to work here or do business, try learning French because 60% of the community here is French. The easiest way to get immigration in Canada is through studies, and for that, you need to have affordable colleges when you come from outside, and this city has got a lot to offer you in this regard. If you enjoy going out for adventures and excursions, you are at the very right place. This city is going to offer you plenty of outdoor adventures and activities, accompanied by arts and cultural spots. Another positive aspect of this city is its extremely low crime rate and a very peaceful environment in all spheres of the city. So, live here with peace peace and harmony. Number four, Montreal, Quebec. Moving to Montreal is just like moving to Europe, so if you like Europe, you're going to love this land. The most spoken language here is also French. If you have a low budget or want cheaper housing, you will feel like a kid in a candy shop because Montreal has its all to offer you. You can rent a private bedroom for just $430 monthly. You can have a two-bedroom house for $750. And if money isn't a problem for you and you want to have luxurious living in Montreal, there are plenty of options in this city. The minimum wage here is comparatively low as dollars 13 an hour, uh, but professional software engineers and accountants are earning $66,000 and $51,000 a year, respectively. The weather in summer is so good and favorable. The temperature of summer is from positive 25 to positive 30. Winters are harsh, but not as harsh as, as other cities in Canada are. The temperature in winter falls from negative 10 to negative 15. If we talk about transportation in the city, that's good. You'll be moving underground or somewhere underneath, enjoying an uninterrupted non-stop commute. It'll cost you just $89 to have a transit pass for a month, so it is quite reasonable. Montreal is the house of fashion and stylistic lifestyles. It opens two big doors for you if you want to be a part of the fashion industry or if you want to do business. Fashion, IT, and pharmaceutical are the three big industries to invest in. It is the best student city since 2009, so education here is an easy task, and so is immigration. It is known as the fifth best city for expats. So if you are making mine to move to Canada, listen to me and choose Montreal. If you are tired of your work and official routine, this city is like a cake for you. Its work life is exceptionally good and appealing. This is a bilingual city with having 65% French community. So it is a tip for you to learn French if you see Montreal as your destination. Number five, Ottawa. The capital of the country is offering you the state-of-the-art facilities. One thing Ottawa is known for is its work opportunities. This city has got numerous vacancies to accommodate a jobless community. Top industries here are real estate, trade, finance, health, and technology. 
Technologically, it is one of the most advanced high-tech centers of North America. More than 70,000 jobs are offered in this area alone. The average salary here ranges from $60,000 to $70,000 a year. This city is the third most expensive city in Canada. You have to make a perfect balance of earning and spending to survive here economically. Single person's accommodation can cost you $2,700. And if you think about purchasing a new luxurious house for you, most of the time you can only think because it is going to cost you about $5,000 per square meter. Public transport here is reasonably affordable. It costs $117 a month to have a transit pass. If you maintain a good economic balance, the city can make you a millionaire. All you need to do is understand its dynamics and act accordingly. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which travel mistake have you done before in any other country from the list above? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so so you'll be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.